episode of Stand Up Spotlight, our first comedian tonight, a very funny man, recently toured all over the country with Kenny G. You can catch him on the Showtime Comedy Club Network. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Veneman. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Let me just start off by saying that uh, I don't understand women. <laughs> Never have. Grew up with them, married one. I don't understand them. Because ladies, you talk about equality, you don't need it. You're better than us. You are, you do things in public we can never get away with. <laughs> never. You dance together. <laughs> I see you at the bar. Helen, there's my song. Come on, let's go. <laughs> never once in your life have you seen Hey, Carl! <laughs> Want a boogie, buddy? Come on, let's cut some rug. <laughs> Free bird! <laughs> oh, Carl, you dance divine. <laughs> uh, you put on that makeup? That amazes me, the makeup. Because I was thinking, what would we like if society had switched around and we were the ones that had to wear makeup? Wouldn't that be horrible? Run around in the morning, Carl! <laughs> you seen my blush? <laughs> Where's that duct tape? <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> you have these little things called compacts, don't you? What are these ladies, these little makeup things, these little beam me up Scotty things? What the hell are these? <laughs> little Maybelline transporters, what are they? It's like, beam me up Mary Kay. <laughs> I know what they are, I figured them out. Guys, you always wonder how the woman that you're with knows what you've done that day. You could be on the other side of the planet and she knows what you've done. They're walkie talkies. <laughs> Aren't they? Oh, yeah. yeah, Helen, I got him right here. Yeah, mm hmm Yeah. He's talking about a redheaded witch with the big boobs. That's her. Yeah. You better talk to him when he gets home. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Oh, and I know about women. I'm a married man, for God's sake. When my wife moved in with me, even more confused. Because she changed my house around. She had to have a motif in the house. That little theme, everything had to match. We have a country motif in our house. Country, country, country. I got geese coming out my ears. You understand this here? Oh. Oh. Geese on the welcome mat. Geese on the mailbox. Geese hanging from the ceiling. Geese on the toilet paper, for God's sake. Oh, we got butter churns here, antiques there, horseshoes there. And she has the nerve to yell at me. Hey, shut that door. You think you live in a barn? Yeah. <laughs> I think she's trying to kill me, too. I'm pretty sure of that. She did something to me last week so heinous. I can't even tell my other friends about it. I'm going to tell you people. <laughs> it was horrible. I don't know. I don't know. I may have to put her away. Let's put it like that. I was, I was in bed, gone for the evening, slept. I'm sleeping away. She's laying in bed next to me, reading a book, eating M&M peanuts. She takes two of these M&M peanuts, green and orange, and inserts them in my nostrils. look like they'd fit. <laughs> would you like to see where a Twinkie would fit, would you? Would you like to see that? What is this, melts in your nose, not in your hands? I can't sleep at night. I gotta wear a surgical mask and a cork. Do you understand this? I just can't. <laughs> and you wonder why we die before you do, right? You wonder this. Yeah. I found out something about my wife, too. <laughs> I, I should tell you, I guess. She's a junkie. I'm going broke. I got no money left. It's not drugs. It's not alcohol. It's not even shopping. Oh, she did graduate magna cum Gucci. She's got a problem. She's addicted to something that you're all addicted to, ladies. And I wish you weren't. Because, I mean, you're the finest people on this planet. I mean that. I respect you. I love you. But to the day I die, I will never, ever understand. What the hell do you do with all that toilet paper? What do you do with it? It goes through your hands like water. G guys, when you're a bachelor, you buy the generic toilet paper, right? 80 rolls for a buck. Big old bag of that stuff. Big bag. That stuff will last you from one presidential election to the next. And if it runs out, you got the magazine rack right there. You're set. Life is good. No, she moves in. And it's like... Mm. 
Just a little rough. <laughs> My skin's a little too sensitive for this. So what's the big deal? So it's got wood chips in it, you know? Just pull them up. Pull them up. <laughs> no sliver never hurt anyone. No, she has to have the good count. Yeah, you know it, don't you? Four rolls, $25 is stuffed up. $25, geese included, I'll give you that. All right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting at the kitchen sink doing the dishes. She's at the little half bath off to the kitchen here. I hear her in there. Thank you very much. You've been a wonderful crowd. Thank you so much.